In this video, I'm going to show you how to get more mileage out of your RSS feeds by using a free tool called Yahoo Pipes. You want to go to pipes.yahoo.com and log in using your Yahoo ID. You'll get this screen that you see here, and the middle here is your work area. Down below is where you're going to see the output of your pipes, and over on the left is all the options that you can use with this tool. Now as you can see, this is a really powerful tool with a ton of things that you can do. I haven't even used like half the things, but there's videos on the Yahoo Pipe site if you want to explore more. For now, I'm just going to work with adding a couple of RSS feeds to show you how you can use this site to increase the reach of the RSS feeds that you have on your sites. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over this fetch feed module. And it's pretty simple. All you do is you type in the RSS feed. You can type in as many feeds as you want. And I'm going to use my uh, Ezine article authors feed. And I'm also going to put in the feed from my website, websitepromotionblueprint.com. Now, what you want to do is you want to connect this to the output. And you should see on the bottom all the feeds from both the sites. So this is a combination of the feeds from these two sites, and you can see I have 12 items. Now, this is all well and good. This is really cool for combining your feeds, but the real power comes in when you use different operators and filters to manipulate, manipulate your feeds. So you can take your feeds and apply a filter so that only entries with certain keywords or keyword phrases appear, or you can eliminate entries with certain keywords. You can use this filter to whittle down your RSS feeds into different feeds that represent sub-niches within your niche. This gives you the ability to make an unlimited number of unique feeds from your already existing feeds. So let's say I want to make a new feed that combines these two feeds that I have here, but only has the word website in the article title. What you would do is you would go down to Operators, and you want to select the filter, and you want to do Permit All, and I'm going to pick um, title that contains website. Now what you need to do is you need to move this in between the filter, in between the feeds and the output. So what I'm going to do is go down to the output and you'll see these little scissors come up. You want to click on that and it breaks the pipe. Then you're going to connect here to here and this to the output. Now when I refresh the output, I see there's only four items, and those are just the items that include the word website in the title. The next thing you want to do is save your work. So you're going to click Save, and you can enter a pipe name. Click Save again. Then you want to click on Properties, and you can enter a description. and some tags. Whoops. Probably want to be able to spell better than I can before <laughs> before you enter them. There, I finally got it out. And then you want to click run pipe. What this does is comes up with a screen here that has all your information from your feed on it. You can click Publish, which will publish the pipe on pipes.yahoo.com. And you can also click this and get an RSS feed of this new feed that you've created. And you can use this feed and you can submit it to the RSS directories. Okay, now I've showed you a little bit about what you can do with this powerful tool, and the rest is up to you. So log into Yahoo Pipes today 
and start making more RSS feeds to promote your website.